what we're going to do now is switch attention to England and in particular their captain Harry Kane obviously England uh, drew one all with Hungary at Wembley yesterday look they're going to qualify for the World Cup but a lot of the discussion has been about Harry Kane's performance I felt like he was almost getting away with it Danny because I feel that the it's been bad performances from Harry Kane for a while, but he was scoring, right? And, you know, strikers are there to score, so you can't really complain. When he's not scoring, I think his performances get highlighted even more. And yesterday was almost like the Harry Kane we've been seeing all season for Spurs. And look, that's the Harry Kane that hasn't scored a goal yet for Spurs this season. You take it back to last season, this time last season for Spurs, he had five goals and eight assists. So far this season for Spurs in the Premier League, no goals, no assists. Um, there's clearly something wrong with Harry Kane. I think there's so many things going on with, with Harry Kane at the moment. It, it's not just one thing. You mm. know, it, it's, it's not fair just to say it's this or it's that. Mm. I think there's a, a massive accumulation of things all coming together at the same time. Um, his form hasn't been great for the last six months or so. Yep. He still scored goals for England, mm. but he scored against relatively weakish Opposition. He mm. didn't look great in the Euros. No, you know, if if we're honest, the yard of pace. It comes into this, and then obviously you have he had injuries. You know, last season as well. You know, mm. with his ankle before that. Obviously, when he played in the Champions League final, he was clearly not fit. Mm -hmm. You know, for for that game. So he, he's had one or two issues for for a while. He then thinks he's going to get this unbelievable move. Yeah, where he's expecting to go to to Manchester City. Comes out and says he wants a move. Comes out and says he wants it done and dusted. It doesn't happen. There's clearly a little bit of a hangover of that. That's not the only reason, but it's adding to that. And I, I heard someone talk, talking this morning, I think it might have been on, on White and Jordan, saying, well, you know, that <clears throat> that's irrelevant. That doesn't matter. You guys, but you can't just turn up. If you're not happy at the training ground every single day, if you're not putting in performances and you're not sharp every day, you can't just turn up for England and expect to just go click your fingers and all of a sudden you put on a fantastic performance. Mm. So if he's not happy at Tottenham, if he's not, you know, quite 100%, and he clearly doesn't look that at the moment. All of these things come together, and and then you know confidence starts to go a little bit. You know, media starts to start questioning. People start to you know get not get on his back, but oh, we're, like, we're talking about it now. Harry Kane's out of sorts a little yeah, bit. Hasn't we, scored, hasn't done this. There, seen... there's, there's also the factor that there aren't, and I've said this many many times. There aren't too many players that have an absolute peak of more than four years. Mm. Very very few. Have more than more than four years. I mean, I'm talking about at the very, very top. There will be exceptions without there. Yeah, of course. But generally, four years at the very, very top level. Is, and that's why people, it's difficult to win two Olympic gold medals. Because being the best of the best for that time is tough. And yes, there, there's Messi and there's Ronaldo, but they are, they're exceptions in pretty much every single rule. In the book. So removing the extenuating circumstances, mm -hmm. like, like you say, mentally, what's going on behind the scenes with with that failed move to Man City? Do you think he could just be just on the way down now, just on the wane? Possibly. You know, when you look at, he was never the quickest, but suddenly now he, he seems to have lost his his confidence a little bit. He now must be starting to doubt: Is he going to get that move? Mm. Because now we're talking next year, and Mbappe is going to be available. Haaland's going to be available. That's a scary one for everyone, isn't it? Where where does Harry Kane go? If it's not Man City, where does he go? He's not going United now. They've got Ronaldo. They've got Cavani still. He's not going there to be second fiddle, is he? Newcastle. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, but it, but that's purely about money. Yeah. Because he's not going to win anything at Newcastle. Well, very unlikely to win in, in the next two years. You know, and he's not getting any younger. So suddenly, all, all of these sort of moves, and he might be thinking, "Have I missed my chance?" And that might be why he's really upset. He must be now thinking, have I missed that opportunity to get that big move? Is, is that now gone? How long, if this form continues, um, obviously England have got another international break coming up in November. And look, I'm not for one second saying Harry Kane isn't England's uh, top number nine because I think there is a drop-off from Harry Kane to the rest. Huge drop-off. Huge drop-off, right. But how long, if this form continues, is he a banker? Is he first name on the team sheet? Because I'm guessing right now, Gareth Southgate does his team sheet. Pickford, Maguire, Declan Rice, Kane, almost your, your bankers. <clears throat> you're looking at the opposition you're playing against and go, he's likely to score. Mm. There will be a huge amount of loyalty from Gareth for what he's done in the past, the fact that he's England captain. Yep. And you'll be thinking, well, even a 75, 80% Harry Kane can score against Albania. Yeah. And that might just give him the kickstart 
that he needs. But, but can't a seventy five can't a seventy five eighty percent Tammy Abraham score against Albania? Yes, he will. Or but, but, Wilson. but there will be that degree of loyalty of thinking. Well, look, Harry Kane's done it for a long time. Mm. He's always been there for England. He's never let England down. He's England captain. Mm. There's all those other things that come into it. So he might be afforded that. He'll be afforded he's got more, credit in a bank. Yeah, oh, he'll, 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 he'll be afforded. To have that he'll well. be afforded more opportunities mm. than other players would because he's he's got that longevity and he's mm. done it for a long time. So yeah, you're right. You know, yeah, he's got credit in the bank. The easiest way of putting it. So mm. that that affords you a little bit more time. Does he get a move in January? I don't think so. No. I'd, very unless it's Newcastle. Uh, very. Why, why would Man City not come in for him in January? Like, why would they not go again? Like, like if this is a guy that's clearly not helping the Spurs thing right now, is he? I mean, he's not scoring goals. He's not assisting for Spurs, so he's not doing them any justice right now. Why would Spurs say, "Okay, let's just not take the 120 million offer right now. Let's just let's just call it quits. Let's move on." I think City, City the are quite stubborn like that, though, aren't they? I think they, they they're, prom- they're well, proper ninety now, wouldn't they? Well, they, yeah, they've, yeah, they've gone. Well, look, we we offered this, we said no. They'll probably go in with a really low offer, mm. and Daniel Levy's going to go, "Yeah, no chance." Not happening. And I'd be surprised if City even went back for another offer. Yeah. Do you think England have a problem there with Kane? Or is, are we just over-exaggerating the situation? It's, 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 a, it's not a couple of games because his form hasn't been amazing. He's always scored. So I think, you know, you, you get to you get through the next international break, see what happens. He probably starts, probably going to score hat-trick in one of the games. You know, know you know what will happen. Mm-hmm. It's... it's, it's He's a good player. But last night, you know, this, one came over his head, I think he was offside, but he didn't know that. And he missed the target. He, he looked awful last night. I mean, they, even he, that... He sliced it, he shanked it, you know... He, his it, touch it was off where he, yeah. went, where he went down for a soft penalty. His touch was off, it kind of bobbled off him. I mean, don't get me wrong, that, that through ball to Sterling, I think Sterling should have done a little bit better with that. He's still got that, but he just... He looked like he slowed the play it, it's down. Almost, it's almost like he's, he's dropping too deep at times as well. Is that because he doesn't have that extra yard of pace to go beyond the defender anymore? So he's trying to drop deep because he knows he can't spin behind a defender anymore. Maybe, like a maybe, or maybe, Lukaku maybe, or maybe he doesn't quite have the confidence to get in the box and think, you know, half a chance, I'm putting it in the back of the net. So actually, I'll, I'll drop back and I'll do my job for the team and I'll assist more mm. and I'll make those passes. Yeah, I said that there's, it's not just one thing; that there's so many different things that really sort of you know come have come together at the same time. It's almost like the perfect storm. Mm. Harry, you know, all of these things have, have joined up together at the same time and he's having a bad time of it.